Carolina Chief. Welcome to Oily How To's. Today I have with me my friend Nancy Z. Hey. Say hi, Nancy. <laughs> and we're going to show you how easy it is to make carpet deodorizer. And I'm taking the recipe out of this really cool book, The Chemical Free Home by Melissa Pepping. She's got two volumes, and I highly recommend you get them both because they're packed full of recipes, anything from health and beauty to cleaning your house toxin-free, just all kinds of good stuff. So get the book. And for kids. Yes, remedies. yes, yeah. all kinds of stuff. But for this particular recipe, in our home, we don't have a lot of carpet. Mm -hmm. So I have maybe two rooms that have carpet, and I don't want to make the full-blown recipe because, you know, I just have a lot, and it would take me a while to use it all. So I'm cutting this recipe in using one-fourth of what it calls for. So it calls for two cups. We're going to use a half a cup. And I got this neat little bottle at the dollar store. So it's not a huge investment. You don't have to go buy these expensive bottles. Mm -hmm. And I got this one, which I'm assuming is either sugar or creamer. Yeah. It's, it kind of reminds me of the ones I grew up on, right. you know, that yeah. my grandparents exactly, had. Yeah. So you pop one side and you can sprinkle. You pop open to the other side if you wanted to get more out. Um, and for this one, we're going to go ahead and cut the recipe, like I said, and in, in use a fourth of the recipe. So we're going to use a half a cup of baking soda. So you're going to take and add your baking soda. And then for this recipe, we're using Young Living's Rosemary and Eucalyptus Radiata. <laughs> and what's nice is, you know, we have dogs in our house. Do you have pets in your house? No. Okay, well, we have two little dogs, Pekingese. And they're fun, but there's times they can get a little sneaky. They like to sneak off and leave us little surprises in our bedroom. And if you don't catch them in time, it makes your house stink. Right. And sometimes you don't even notice it. So this is a great way to remedy that. But I've been to people's houses. Where it smells. Yeah. Not a good thing. <laughs> so this is a great way to get rid of that. You can just easily sprinkle it on your carpet, let it sit for a little bit, and vacuum it right up. And with the holidays coming? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so experiment, right? Yeah. Get out your holiday scents. What's a good one? What would you use? I what like sandalwood. Around? Sandalwood, that would be mm -hmm. a great one. Or even peppermint. Oh yeah. yeah, or and oh, what about combining peppermint and Christmas uh, spirit together? Oh, that would be, That'd be great. So just play around with your oils. Find one that you like. You know, for Thanksgiving, what about like ginger and mixing that with something, yeah, right? Yeah. Smell your oils and see what you like together. Use that in the recipe. Okay, so we're gonna add the half a cup of the baking soda. So you'll fill that in your jar, and then for this amount, we're gonna go ahead and do ten drops total of these oils. So we're going to do five of the eucalyptus radiata, okay. and then we'll add five drops of the rosemary. Okay. And then once you have that in there, just shake up your bottle, let it get into that baking soda really well, shake it, and shake it on your carpet. Right. Vacuum it right up, and you are good to go. That was easy, wasn't that was it? was easy. Was it fun? Done. Good. <laughs> okay, I hope you found this beneficial. If you have, please feel free to share it to, share it to the world. Let's get those carpets smelling good. And if you haven't liked my Oli How To's Facebook page yet, be sure and do that as well as we're updating re uh, videos regularly. Until next time, we'll see you then.